This week, I'm riding on a bullet train, finding out how drunk you can get on a glass of sake and figuring out whether time travelers have finally arrived in Japan as I take a ride on Japan's fastest train, the Hayabusa Shinkansen. Well, good morning from Sapporo in Japan. What a view this is to wake up to, wow. Um, well, today I am saying goodbye to Sapporo because we are getting on a train, a Japanese train um, out of Sapporo. Right, so the hotel that I've stayed in is amazing. 34 floors up, 34 floors, 500 and something feet up in the air. Some great views out over Sapporo. But it's right above the train station here in Sapporo, uh, which is really handy because it means I just have to do a quick sort of walk downstairs and into the train station. All right, so I've got no idea. The right is all in Japanese. I think I'm on the 652. That's all on, oh, there we go, 652. Um, that's a local train for local people. Um, I need the kind of high speed train. I don't know which one I want. Hang on. Hakodati, track number six, that'll do. Now I bought my train tickets online and collected them from the machine the night before. However, when I got to the barrier, it seemed that I had a bit of an issue. It seemed he was looking for a part of the ticket that I didn't actually have in my possession, which was going to cause a bit of an issue. Ah, yeah, I don't have. It didn't, it didn't give me that bit, so. No. Ah. Okay. Yeah. Just this one. Sapporo Hakodate, yeah, that's all I have. Okay, the machine, yeah? Okay. Thank you. Ticket counter. Uh huh. Okay, okay. These, yeah? Okay. So off I headed round to the machines to try and reprint my tickets once again. However, that seemed like it was going to be a job easier said than done as well. The reservation specified is unavailable. Please reconfirm your reservation details in your application history at the JRE train reservation site. And so it turned out that because I'd already printed my tickets the night before, or at least I thought I had, it wasn't going to let me reprint them again. And so with all the other options exhausted, it was finally time to face every person with social anxiety's worst fear, actually having to go and talk to someone. Oh, hi. What did you want? Um, so... I missed that. <laughs> so I, I got this ticket, but no... No, this one. Can I fit it? Yeah. Uh, the, uh, the, the, this, this one, no. Sparrow, Shin Hakodati, but no. Ah, Sapporo, Tokyo. Sapporo, Tokyo, yes. Yes. Change. Hakodati, Tokyo. So. No? Hakodati, Tokyo. So, yeah. But this, no, no, this one. So, no, this one. Yes, uh, I, so I have uh, Hakodate Tokyo, so this is good, yeah? But this. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. But no, not the ticket. This, thank you. <laughs> And like, I keep these because it's brand class. So, so he asked yeah, me for okay. my credit card, which I assumed at the time was to look up my booking, but actually it turned out he just sold me a completely brand new ticket. Thank you. Support to Tokyo. Uh-huh, perfect, yeah. thank you. Sorry, sign. Yes. Thank you. So this this work for the machine, yeah? Yes, yes, machine, yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So 
I headed back to the machine and this time it actually let me through. So at least I was going to be getting on some sort of train today. Oh, all right then. Well, I think I've sorted that mess out. That's for my train, the first train. We're not going off to a good start here, are we, really? The first train down to um, Hacker Darty. Um, it seems that when the machine gives you your ticket, I only got one of the two tickets that it should have given me. Um, and then obviously because I've collected the ticket, the machine wouldn't give me again. For some reason, he wanted my car. I think I've just bought a new ticket. Um, <laughs> um, so I'm like, okay, I don't know. I, I just need to get on this train. I just really need to get on this train. So let's um, go up to the platform. Platform six here. We get the Limited Express down to Pakadati before we get our main event train later on. So I don't know if this is a train, platform six. train this is the train that I booked down to Hakodate this is um, not the not a Shinkansen I'm, I'm later on today I'm heading down to get on a Shinkansen train a Hayabusa train that's where we're going to get on board that today um, but this is just like a sort of a hop first across to Hakodate um, station to pick that um, train up because that train has come up as far as Sapporo so um, that's our um, route today I've got to try and figure out these tickets I hope he's not cancelled my next train in the process of issuing this one and um, rebooking my ticket I don't know <laughs> I'll have a look in a minute oh all good fun we're on board and we'll be leaving very soon I think <laughs> And so it was time to say goodbye to Sapporo and head across the island of Hokkaido to the city of Hakodate to catch my bullet train down to Tokyo. Right there, so we've saying goodbye to Sapporo on the um, train. I thought all trains here were electric, um, but this one sounds like it's a diesel train. I don't know much about trains, I just like um, riding on them, So, uh, but it's quite nice. It's quite a nice train, quite comfortable. We've got lots of leg room here. Sort of uh, stretch out like that. Um, what have we got? We've got a reading light somewhere. Oh, just, just there, there's a reading light. Um, the pillow goes up and down at the back. It's quite a nice power outlet, apparently. Uh, yeah, just here, there's a power outlet. Controls for the seats are just here. Um, and then um, you can put this down as well, this tray table here. A safety card as well. Um, it's, um, it's quite nice. Um, as, as trains go, it's my first Japanese train. So um, this one's going to take me down to a place called Hakodate. And then from there... Um, we're connecting on to a Shinkansen Hayabusa, um, so that's going to be cool. So we're going to take a ride on that today when we get down to Hakodate. The train winds its way along the coast first and eventually climbs up into pine forests and weaves between the mountains as it heads towards Hakodate. All right, we are nearly in Hakodate now. This was such a beautiful ride down from Sapporo. The scenery here in Japan, absolutely incredible. I am falling rapidly in love with this country. It's just such an incredible, incredible place. Um, we are nearly in Hakodate, where we're going to get on the next train of the day, but that is a super, super, super cool train. So um, let's um, head down there and um, get on board and see what it's all about. We pulled into Hakodate right on time and it was time to head across the station and see if I'd made my connection to the Shinkansen bullet train. All right then, welcome to Hakodate, Japan. Um, that was the um, first train on today. Now we're heading for one that's even cooler because we're going to be taking a ride on the Hayabusa Shinkansen train, or in other words, the bullet train, um, their new bullet train. Um, it's going to take me all the way down to Tokyo, so um, let's um, transfer on to the Shinkansen line. Transferring trains here in Hakodate is really straightforward. It's all signposted and it's all in English as well, so you just follow the signs and head where you need to go. 
Unfortunately, though, when I got to the ticket barriers to head through to the Shinkansen line, it turned out it wasn't going to be that easy because my ticket once again wouldn't let me through the barrier. <laughs> I headed to the ticket office to try and figure out what the problem was, but the line wasn't moving very fast at all and I was aware that we were only a few minutes away from my train arriving. So I did what any traveller would probably do in this situation, I spotted an open door and headed to the platform. I figured I had a ticket for the train anyway, so it wasn't like I was trying to dodge the fare or anything and if anyone asked I'd be able to present my ticket and show it to them anyway. I got my ticket, so <laughs> it should be all right, I think. Um, so um, yeah, let's um, head down to the train. This is pretty cool. You can tell it's a high-speat train because look, they've got like this barrier so that you can't get too close to it. <laughs> this thing goes mental fast, um, and I can't wait to see it. So it's gonna be pretty cool. And it wasn't long at all before the rather rude, willy-shaped train pulled into the platform to take me down to Tokyo. There she is then, the Hayabusa Shinkansen, Japan's fastest train. This thing, aside from looking like a, um, a bit of a rude phallic sort of symbol, it's um, the fastest train in Japan. It does 200 miles an hour, so uh, let's go and get on board and then see what it's like. Wow, it does, does look very rude, doesn't it? Very rude. It was time to climb on board and take my seat in Grand Class. Rather than looking like my grand living room though, it was actually rather nice when I got on board. The seats are in a 1-2 configuration and they're like something that you find in a long-haul business class flight, let alone on a train that's just three hours long. They've even got overhead bins to put your baggage in as well, which is pretty cool. These days I usually travel with just a carry-on bag. I just can't trust the airlines anymore with my baggage, especially after my last little incident with Air Callin a few months back, where they lost my bag and I had to cancel my last Japanese trip as a result. I've picked up a really cool case that I use on my trips now called the Carry-On Pro. It's made by Carl Friedrich and it's not only really stylish with beautiful Italian leather details, but it's durable too. It's made from lightweight polycarbonate and it's got this zipperless aluminium frame so I don't have to worry about the zips popping when I cram too many treats in to bring home with me. I'd say it's probably the best built case I've ever owned and it's really well put together. It's organised really well inside as well, with plenty of storage and it's got this handy pocket on the front for me to put my laptop and other bits and pieces in to keep them safe. It's the only case I've ever had where you get a 100 day free trial, so if you don't like it, you can just send it back within 100 days for a full no questions asked refund and you get a lifetime warranty and worldwide shipping too. I'll pop a link in the description so you can check out the Carry On Pro for yourself. Alright then, welcome on board the Hayabusa Shinkansen. This is Grand Class, which is like, um, it's not Granny Class, it's Grand Class, like Grand, not like your Grand. Um, and it's, it's very posh, isn't it? This is um, the sort of first class, effectively, on um, the Shinkansen trains. Very, very nice indeed. Looking forward to this journey. It's about three hours down to Tokyo, running at 200 miles per hour. <laughs> Fastest train in Japan. Pretty soon it was time to go and right on time at 10.53 and a few seconds we pulled out of the station and headed on our way down to Tokyo. After a few minutes the cabin crew came round handing out some amenity kits. Right, we said goodbye to Hako Dati and we're now on the um, Shinkansen down to Tokyo. My concern with this is we're on a different island to Tokyo, that's on the main island of Honshu, we're on Hokkaido. Um, so I'm presuming there's a tunnel or something, it's a long way between the islands as well, so there'll be quite a long tunnel I guess in a little while. This train's doing 200 mile an hour, or it has a top speed, it's 500 miles down to Tokyo. We'll be there in about just under four hours from now, which is um, pretty nice really. Um, the seat's really comfy as you'd expect, we've got like, these seat controls here, it reclines all the way. There's a tray table that pops out there. Um, there's a reading line up there on the side of you. It's just oh, proper nice, proper comfy, and it smells like new leather in here as well. It's just amazing. It smells like you've stepped into a Mercedes or something. It's really nice. Um, and the train's so quiet and smooth as well. Just incredible. We're doing 200 mph, and it just feels like we're just cruising along slowly. It's really nice. 
Um, they've come around and took the orders for the lunch service, which will be coming around in a minute, I think. And then, um, yeah, get that enjoyed as we continue south. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, the lunch service has arrived. There was a choice of Western or Japanese style. I've kind of wussed out and gone for the um, Western style, but it looks quite nice. The um, selection of um, treats looks quite nice, actually. Very nice. After some time the train dropped into a tunnel where we stayed for about 10 or 15 minutes as we crossed under the sea between the islands of Hokkaido and Honshu. It's a little bit like the Channel Tunnel really. Eventually we popped out on the island of Honshu and the scenery here was just as stunning really as it had been up on the island of Hokkaido. I thought it was pretty cool that every time the cabin crew came into the cabin of the train they came out to this little tune. Isn't that cool? Right, so just after we left Hacker Darty, they came around handing out these little bags. So let's have a look and see what's in it. What we got? What we got? Oh, salami. Bit of a sausage. Nice. I do like a nice sausage, I do. Is this a menu? Smart. Oops. Smart premium cabin. It's the, uh, the menu, I think, for the train. Oh, yes. All the food, we'll have a little look at that in a bit. I've already eaten. Um, she sort of read the menu out to me when she came round. We've got a, um, a grand class bag, uh, love it when you get wet wipes on trains and planes and stuff. What's this? We got so salty chocolate. Nice. We'll try that in a bit and a bottle of water. I think it's water anyway. Yeah, mineral water, there we go. And that's it. All in the little bag that you get when you get on board. There's also um, slippers too that you can put on. Everybody's wearing the slippers. They're too small for me. I don't have Japanese sized feet. I have massive size 13s. So um, yeah, um, that's why I've not put mine on. I'm just sporting my um, Noel Phillips socks, which you can obviously buy in the merch store at noelphillips.com. Um, and um, yeah, you can wear those sorts of socks too. They're very, very cool. Um, but yeah, we've, um, we're on the South Island now. We're in um, Honshu, um, having gone under the water, under the sea. Um, and now we are sort of cruising down towards Tokyo at a rate of knots. We're doing 195 miles an hour at the minute. Ooh. 195. Just like hand truck, isn't it? We stopped in a city called Sendai, which was pretty cool. And as we pulled into the station, it did all look very Japanese out of the window, which I guess you could expect seeing as though like we're in Japan and all that. The Hayabusa Shinkansen is Japan's fastest train and with speeds up to 200 miles per hour it's pretty nippy. But the Japanese bullet trains aren't quite the fastest trains in the world anymore, or for now at least. The fastest regular train title actually goes to the Chinese Fuking Hao train, which is presumably named after the sound you make when you realise you're travelling at a speed of almost 250 miles an hour. It can travel the 800 miles from Shanghai to Beijing in just four and a half hours. Japanese are working on a maglev train, however, that can do a speed of 375 miles an hour, which is pretty flipping quick. After we left Sendai, the cabin crew broke out the sake, which I thought was pretty cool, and of course I had to try it because I was in Japan after all. I never tried sake before, so I thought I'd give it a go and see what it was all about. And it was really, really nice if a little bit potent. It's a little bit like an ice wine that you'd get in Canada, perhaps, but it was really tasty. It's time for the Noel Phillips Blue Review. 
All right, this train has just hit its top speed of 200 miles per hour. And as a result of that, I thought it would be the perfect time to do a 200 miles per hour Lou review. Um, and this is the Lou. It's just like the one in my bloody hotel room. I mean, how do you flush this? This is crazy. Like, how do you use this? Carefully, I guess. Um, and um, yeah, there you go. There's a sink there. There's a sink over there. And um, other bits and pieces down there. Bog roll. Oh, that's the flush button there, the big one. So I don't know what all these do though. Flipping it. Oh, that's to um, that's to um, spray your um, buttocks if you want to um, wash your bum while you're um, doing 200 mile an hour. Flipping it. <laughs> that sounds a bit risky, doesn't it? At this speed. Anyway, this is the Lou Review um, on the um, higher booster train. It's quite nice, very spacious. Not quite as luxurious as the um, gran Granny class that we're um, sitting in back there, but um, it's, it's not too bad all the same. I am going to use the facilities at 200 mile an hour, hopefully um, figure out how to use this flipping toilet and then, um, yeah, get back down to my seat. That was the Noel Phillips Lou Review. As we continued heading south, I did have to do a little bit of a double take at this guy. I'm not sure if it was the Saki talking, but it took me several minutes longer than it should have done to figure out he wasn't actually some sort of time traveller just wearing steampunk glasses, but rather a guy conveniently situated behind a couple of reading lamps. And perhaps given my level of sake based inebriation after just one glass, it was for the best that my journey was almost over and we started winding through the suburbs of Tokyo. My ride on the Hayabusa Shinkansen cost me $293 or roughly 228 British pounds, albeit multiplied by two when they sold my second ticket as well. That's roughly three times the flight on the same route and takes about four times as long. But considering with the train you get to travel in such comfort and from downtown railway stations at both ends, with no expensive taxis either, I'd say the train comes out much better value for money. All right, konnichiwa Tokyo. There we go. That has got to be the coolest train ride I have ever been on. Wasn't that amazing? Right. I need to um, find out how to leave this place now and get across to my hotel. This place is rammed, wow. I just love how people just stand on the left so that people can walk down the right hand side. Yeah, people that polite back in America or anywhere else in the world. How the heck do you get out of this place? <laughs> I didn't anywhere. Oh wow, um, okay. That's the transfer to all the lines, that's the transfer to all the lines. I don't know how you get out. Where's the exit? Oh. You know how I said that like Japan was peaceful and calm and relaxed? I hadn't actually been to central Tokyo at that point. <laughs> oh god. This is like chaos. <laughs> Wow. Okay, um, I've still not found the exit. I've seen a sign that says exit. Um, and I think we're sort of heading in the right direction. I think it might be this way. Aha, found an exit sign. It's this way. Well, one of the exits anyway. Maranucci exit. It says exit. That's good enough for me. Hopefully there'll be um, like taxes and stuff there that I can... Um, jump in to get to my hotel. <laughs> wow. Yay, you found the exit. We found an exit <laughs> somewhere in somewhere in Tokyo. Yay, that's good. Well here we are then. Welcome to Tokyo. Japan baby. Uh, very, very different down here than it was up in um, Sapporo, anyway. Um, I need to find my hotel. Look at this station, it's very pretty, isn't it? Very beautiful old station here. Um, so, oh, there's a lady there with poodles, lovely. Um, right, so let's try and find where this bloody hotel is. Hopefully it's not too far. Um, I'm going to have to stop and um, look at a map. I think I'll walk it, it's quite a nice day, it doesn't look like rain, so let's um, walk. Apparently it's about a 20 minute walk from the station. Um, so let's have a wander through 
downtown Tokyo, I guess. <laughs> Actually, sod walking, it's on the other side of the city and I've just found a taxi rank, so let's go and see if we can jump in a taxi. <laughs> Thank you to my Patreons, as always, for their continued support of the channel. Your support on Patreon not only gets you early access to my videos, access to my WhatsApp group and regular group Zoom calls with me, but it helps me grow the channel too. that I took a taxi rather than walking. That was a crazy um, drive. If it was 20 minutes in a taxi, that would have been like horrendous to walk. Anyway, here we are, downtown Tokyo. And there's my hotel, yay. All right then, welcome to Tokyo. Um, a lot of people ask where I stay when I come on these trips. I um, like to usually stay in Marriott hotels because I've kind of got status with Marriott so I stay in whatever chain I can find. They're, they've tended to be the best for me because um, they've got a massive like variety of properties around the world. Um, every country I go to has got at least one Marriott property it seems. So there's a few like exceptions to that rule like last night in Sapporo they didn't have a Marriott but down here they do um, in Tokyo there's lots of them. Um, and um, yeah, they tend to be pretty good. And also because with the status as well, you tend to get upgraded um, a bit more with these. I used to be with Hilton and the properties were a bit crap. If I'm honest, a lot of them were a bit tired and dated and you didn't very often get upgrades. Whereas on Marriott, although I've not got one this time, I tend to get them quite a fair bit. And this is the Aloft brand, which is like these sort of like lofty apartment type places. It's quite nice um, it's quite modern and they've got all this sort of new sort of arty farty stuff around the room it's okay um, this is the looks like the bathroom here what's this here oh that's a toilet oh we've got another um yay we've got another japanese toilet to um, investigate look at that look there's all your controls there stop rear soft front pressure position i like the look of the front one um flush front flush os oscillate Ooh. Very fancy. I might, might, might give that a go later. Not on video though. Um, although maybe if you sign up for Patreon, you might. Yeah, no, I'm joking. I'm joking. Even Patreons don't get that level of access. Um, and then there's the shower, um, which is quite nice. It's quite a nice, quite a nice room, really. Um, and then crucially, the important thing, of course, is what is the view like out of the window? And if I do a heave ho on the old blind and get the right one. We can see what the view is like out of the room. Maybe there's a window reason that the window's shut. Oh yeah, there we go, because there's my view. A wonderful view, the vistas of Tokyo outside the room. Although I can see a Japanese bus down there. Um, but yeah, that's it. Well, welcome to Tokyo anyway. Um, <laughs> I really enjoyed that. that. That train was a bucket list item for me today, the bullet train, and doing it in the granny class as well was proper, proper cool. I'm so pleased I got the chance to do that today. Um, let me know what you thought of that train down in the comments. Would you ride on that bullet train? It was about three hours from Hakodate. It would have been about an hour and a half on a plane, plus check-in time of about an hour, so two and a half hours, plus all the rigmarole of getting a plane. I don't know, you're pretty much as quick getting the train here in Japan as you are um, flying, to be honest, but I really, really enjoyed it. That was such a nice journey down um, on the bullet train. Um, and um, yeah, my next journey from here, well, who knows where I will go next? Well, I know, I know. But you lot don't, um, so you're going to have to subscribe to find out next week when I release next week's video. And in the meantime, thank you so much for watching. As always, take care, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.